Shane. Hi, Jeff. I bet you've never heard this question. I bet you I have. I have one week to my exam and my studying has been basically nothing. Do I have a chance? Uh, do I take the test regardless for the experience? Okay, not only have I heard that question before, I lived that question. Um, my NTS was, was expiring for auditing. I took BEC and auditing the same day. Didn't study for auditing at all uh, because my NTS was expiring. Why did it, why did it expire? Because I was lazy and I procrastinated and I lacked discipline, I'm sorry. Um, and so I took my BEC exam, which I was prepared for, and then I came back and I took auditing without studying for it. And I actually didn't study so bad, or I, I didn't do so bad. I scored a 69 and I didn't even study for it. Um, and so it wasn't horrible, but I took it for the experience. And hey, you know, you, you, might, you might have that, uh, that Hail Mary, YOLO, whatever the kids say. <laughs> I'm, not gonna act, I'm not gonna try to act like I'm cool, I'm not. Um, so just go in and take the exam for the experience, and that's what I would do. I mean, that, that doesn't mean that you sit around and watch, um, you know, the new season of, or last season of uh, Better Call Saul and get caught up on, on this season. You don't want to do that just because you know that you're throwing a Hail Mary and, you know, what's the point? I would, I mean, so, um, okay, go to another71.com forward slash fast, and that will take you to how to pass in 20 days. So take whatever, <laughs> take what's on that and divide it by three and, and, and do that. And that's what I would do.